Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Love Jive here, and today we're playing Entropia Universe. What we're going to be doing today is we are going to be talking about some good mobs for new players to hunt. Or specifically, and in this case, we're going to be talking about one good mob and one good mob location for those of you guys who are newer to the game. So first things first, let's go over here. We're in Twin Peaks right now. I'm going to show you where that is, but right here you're going to see a daily token trader. If you talk to this guy and use your daily tokens, what you're going to find is that a lot of these rifles... Specifically, like, this sort of thing in here, this 1 through 4 series of the McCorp Kalos, even, like, 5 and 6. A lot of these rifles are actually really good to start using when you're a newer player. You're going to find that you can get them for, like, 40 daily tokens or... Actually, no, you can't get them for less. You're going to find that you can get them for about 40 daily tokens. And you're going to see the damage on them, the damage that they do, is about... What do we have right here? About 24.6 damage per second. Or in the case of the Macalos 3, it's looking at 21 damage per second. And over here for the 2, you've got about 17.7 damage per second. If you throw an amp on that, you're going to be doing about, about something like, you know, 22.7 damage per second. The reason I bring that up is because this is the gun that I'm going to be using to go on this hunt. So I've got a gun. This is a pistol specifically. It's the ISIS LLP-10. If you have a rifle that's more of like your level 4, level 3, level 2 rifle, it's probably going to do about a similar amount of damage per second, especially if you can throw an amp on it. So for this rifle, or for this pistol, I do have this A102 amplifier, but I'm not going to be using it right about now. Reminds me of a Fat Boy Slim song, but let's keep going. Anyways, for those of you guys who are new, Twin Peaks right here. So this is uh, Twin Peaks right here. See this lake in here? Good way to find it. Just go to this lake right on the tip. That's where you've got Twin Peaks. It's a great place to come to trade. There's a mall here. There's a bank that nobody ever uses. And, you know, that's about it. So, yeah, let's head out. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be hunting some Argonauts. So you can see here I've got to make 500 Argonaut kills to get my Iron Mission Challenge completed. So that's what I've been doing recently. And um, what we're going to be doing specifically, I'm going to be going out with sort of a lower DPS or damage per second weapon, a lower level weapon. Just hunting, getting some skills and something that I normally don't do. So primarily for those guys who don't know, I'm a rifle user, you know, specifically laser rifles. That's sort of my thing. That's what I do. Um, in this case, we're going to be switching it up. We're going to be using a pistol. It's still doing laser damage, but it's going to be a pistol. And uh, specifically, the reason I wanted to keep with laser is because that's going to help me out with my, uh, my ranged weapon damage, which I need to sort of bump that up a little bit. So sticking with the pistol is good. And um, this is just a good video to give you guys sort of an idea of how to hunt lower, not low, low level mobs. Like once you're done sort of, you know, going around killing some of those like Daikabas and berries and combibos and all that sort of thing right the low level mobs that you find around camp Icarus and port atlantis this might be the next stop that you'll want to visit and i've had some some of you guys have requested this right like a beginner's guide to you know hunting or what you should be doing so i thought this was a good time to do it and before we jump in and start hitting mobs what i want like to go over too is that right here we're using pixie armor so this is a full set of pixie adjusted armor it's not going to fully protect me but it is it's going to help a little bit right and you guys will see that once we get into it so here we go we've got some argonaut this is a level eight mob you're going to see that they're going to charge me because my pistol doesn't have that far of a range so you can see right here it is a bit of a challenge um they are going to do some damage to me and let's, uh, let's wait for a hit just so we can get an idea of sort of how hard they're going to be hitting. The fact that there's two attacking me right now is uh, sort of shows you that I'm not not the best, right? Like, the the range on this pistol is very low, so there's a high chance of arguing, aggroing more than one mob, which is definitely a problem. But, you know, if you're picky with what you pick off, you can, you, you can do just one at a time. But what you can see right here, they're hitting me for about 16, 15 damage. Uh, that was a 20 that he did. So this is a level 10. So what this shows me is probably if you've got pixie adjusted armor, a level 10 mob might not be what you want to take. You might want to stick to sort of level 8s and stuff like that. Um, especially if you've got a lower level rifle than this, doing less than that 22 damage per second. Now, obviously, if you add an amplifier, things are going to get way easier. So that's always one thing to keep in mind. But as you can see here, these Argonauts, you know, two of them attacked me. I did just fine. Now I'm going to use my Vivo S10 to heal up. So at this point in the game, if you guys are thinking about hunting something harder, you should have that S10. You should have probably gone through your mentorship, which means you're going to have that adjusted pixie. And you should have a weapon that's a little bit better than your trade terminal gear. 
Um, if we went and used trade terminal gear, we would not be able to kill these mobs. So for those of you guys wondering if you can come out here with a sort of TT rifle, pistol, sword, whatever, it's not going to work. And one of the things always to keep in mind is I'm taking a lot more damage because my range with this pistol is way, way shorter. Like, look at this. Look how far, how long it's going to take me to hit. He, he aggros me. This mob aggros me before I can even take the first shot. And that, that makes it a lot more dangerous to hunt these things. So if you're new and you're coming out here, I definitely recommend something with a longer range. Um, if you're melee, that's definitely going to be a problem too. Also, you can see I do have a higher evade than most new players. So a lot of these shots are missing where they're going to hit you. So the way it works basically is... If you see it say evade, that means that I dodged the hit. And if you see it say miss, that means that the mob missed attacking me, if that makes sense. So here we go at level 7. I probably should have taken this one on. We've got two level 7s attacking me. My armor should be good enough to take these guys on. For those of you guys wondering, too, how much we went out with, we I had 27 PEDs of universal ammo, roughly. So that's sort of what we went out with. Um, and also what I'd like to do is just show you guys the difference an amplifier can make. Uh, so there, there's a bunch of amplifiers in the game. Some are limited, some are unlimited. What you're going to find is that limited amplifiers, you don't pay as much for them, but you can't repair them. And generally, generally, they are less efficient. It's going to depend on what percentage you pay for that amplifier, what sort of markup you pay. But a lot of the time in A101, A102, 103, all that stuff is just, you know, it's, it's worth buying because it's going to give you a little bit more efficiency and it's going to give you a little bit more of an edge. So let's go ahead and equip that edge right here. You're going to see that nothing really changes, right? The gun's going to show the same sort of damage per second and all that, I think, yeah. But it is going to be doing a little bit more damage right here. So let's go ahead and just see how much faster we can kill mobs with this equipped. So right here, you're going to notice we got a level 8 attacking us. We had two mobs attacking us. And you can see just that little extra bit of sort of oomph when I'm shooting. It does make all the difference. So that's the thing. If you're a new player, an amplifier is a great way to sort of give yourself a little bit of an extra bump and be able to take on some harder, sort of higher level mobs. When you do use an amplifier, though, always make sure that you check one thing. What you're going to want to do, let's, I didn't need to unequip that, but I did. Um, so if you check your amplifier, you're going to want to see how much damage it does. So this one has seven damage, right? It does burn some ammo, but it does seven burn damage. It has an efficient, or yeah, seven burn damage. It has efficiency of 83%, which is really good. Uh, generally, I would not want to equip this on a gun that has a higher efficiency than the amplifier, but no guns have that. This gun has 57% efficiency. The only reason I'm using this gun is because it was in my inventory and I looted it, so don't think that this is any sort of like backing of the gun. And right here, you're going to see this, this gun does about 10 to 20 damage per shot. So when I put an amplifier on, it's just going to sort of bump that up, right? So now all of a sudden, we're doing 13.5 to 27 damage. What you're going to want to make sure is that your ammo burn right so how much damage your amplifier does is less than half the gun damage so if the gun does 10 damage you can't have an amplifier that does more than 10 damage otherwise basically the amplifier is going to max out which means your amplifier is going to do 10 damage even if you've got one that could do a million you know if your amplifier could do a million damage and you put it on a gun that has a minimum of 10 like the 10 to 20 is that range then your amplifier is just going to increase it by that like 10 range so always keep that in mind right basically that minimum number should be under or over what your amplifier's number is or your amplifier's burn or sort of damage number so now you can see that got a lot easier and probably what we're going to see we're going to be spending more on this and we're going to be going through more peds sort of per shot per second so if you're if your main goal in this game is just to play as long as possible that amplifier does increase how much you're going to be spending but it's going to increase the mobs that you can hit, and hopefully it's going to increase your efficiency, which means you're going to be able to get just a little bit more when you're out here hunting. And those edges, those are sort of what a lot of the uber players do look for. All right, so let's go ahead and loot this, because there is a chance. I'm going to heal up right here, because what's going to happen, or what I'm worried about is that I'm going to get critical hit, and that's going to do too much damage to me. So let's go ahead and just keep shooting there. That should be enough. And, uh, yeah, we're good to go. But, yeah, that's, that's sort of it, right? Like, that is... A nice sort of mid, not mid, but like entry level, mid tier mob to hunt Argonauts. If you have iron challenges, you can get some of those completed by hunting these guys. It does count towards your codex. So you're going to get extra skills with that. And it's a good next step. A lot of you guys have been asking like, what's the next step? What is the next mob I should hunt? Um, and while this isn't going to make you a ton of profit or anything like that, it's, it's a good mob to sort of step up to. 
Also, at times, you're going to find that they do loot iron stone. Um, right now, I don't think there's too much markup on this stuff. Uh, yeah, 107. So there's a bit of markup on that. So it's sort of a... It's a newer level mob, but it still loots stuff that can get you a little bit of a markup. Obviously, all mobs can loot guns and stuff like that. Um, as far as these components go, there's... Well, 152. That's not right. Um, there is some markup on that, which is always nice, too. So you can get a few markup items from these Argonauts. They're also low enough level that you can hunt them with the rifle. And I sort of showed you those the rifle that you can use. If you don't know how to get your tokens or daily tokens or anything like that, there's a thing called daily missions. You can get those, complete those. Those are going to give you tokens. A lot of the missions will give you, I think something, some of them give you like only one token, I believe, but some of them will give you more. Um, so you can see here's my tokens. I get one for completing that mission, one for two daily tokens for completing that mission, and for this one I get three. So you just sort of run through your dailies every now and then whenever you're online, and eventually you'll have enough to buy your next gun, and you can just sort of keep running through that until you get to that AR Matrix LR series. I've got a whole gun guide if you guys are interested in that. Just search Entropia Universe Gun Guide. And for those of you who are going to complain that I'm being too lazy and not linking you, you're also being lazy by not searching, so you know. We're, we're both in the wrong here, so I'm not going to call you out like I just did, and you're not going to call me out, but I called myself out, so we're, we're good, we're good. So yeah, that, that's about all I've got for now, but I'm going to, we can, let's see, how much ammo do we have left? We've got a bit of ammo left, so let's, uh, let's keep this hunt going for a little bit longer and just sort of see where our returns are. Obviously, you can see I am taking a bit of damage here, so I'm going to need to heal up at times. That's less than ideal. If you have armor that's just a little bit better than this, it might not be a bad idea to switch over to that. Um, but I, I just wanted to go out with this pixie adjusted armor because I wanted to show people what is possible. And obviously, if you're using a rifle, they're going to hit you less, which means you're going to take less damage. So that makes pixie all the more viable. So that's always one thing to keep in mind, right? Like, if I came out here with a rifle, a newbie level rifle, I'd be pretty good to go. Honestly, I went through, I had an old uh, LR Matrix, LR15, AR Matrix, LR15. And I went out here to use, go through that thing. And I had I had just enough range on that that with a, with a nice little amplifier, I was able to kill the mobs before they do too much damage. And honestly, I could almost hunt comfortably unarmored. Um, and just throwing out a little bit of pixie was more than enough. Didn't need to heal or anything like that. It has changed a little bit now because I'm using a pistol, which means I've got to get up close and personal, take those shots, which means I'm going to be taking more damage. And you can see I end up aggroing a lot more than one mob a lot of the time. So what's going to happen is I get a little too close to two of them, and then I end up getting attacked by two Argonauts rather than one. But still, definitely working. Um, not too bad. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's a good leg up for those of you guys who are looking for new mobs to hunt and new adventures to have. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to ask them down below. I know some of you guys have asked me to do recommendations for Calypso and other planets, and Calypso is the planet I know best, so this is sort of a good good jumping off ground for me, right? And, and there's still all these iron missions I've got to complete. Like, I need to kill 500 Argonauts. It's going to take me a while to do that. Full, full disclosure, I don't play this game a ton. Like, I'm, I'm playing Entropia Universe maybe... Let's say an hour a day is what I average, right? You know, like in front of the TV, an hour a day, that's sort of the time I'm putting into it. So, you know, given that, it's not... Um, 500 mobs is a significant amount of amount of time that I got to put in. It's just a couple of days, well, more than a couple of days. It's probably going to be a solid week or two that I'm working on this because I, I do get distracted and people message me a lot, so I've got to respond to those. And, you know, that's how it goes, right? Entropy is a great community. Like, you guys always feel free to message me. Um, a lot of the time, if you just send me a message rather than waiting for me to be online, that's going to work because um, if you haven't noticed, I'm invisible a lot of the time. The reason I do that is because, uh, well, there's some of you guys who just tend to not, not like, it's not that people ask me too many questions or anything like that. Again, it's, there's some people who really do like to harass me. So they see me online and they just start sending me stuff and, you know, I block them, but it's just like, it gets to be too much, right? Like there's, there's a few people that are just a little too pushy. And when I'm recording a video, I always go invisible just because I don't like to, uh, I, I don't, I don't always like to have the messages popping up and like every now and then it happens, not a big deal, but when it was happening continuously, it would sort of throw off my train of thoughts. So that was, uh, why I was doing that. I'm trying to think. I know Steam, Steam, I did it because there were definitely like people who would keep, maybe not in Trophy, I don't need to do it because there's been a few negative people, but I think I just blocked them. I think it is possible to block people in Trophy. I'm pretty sure I did that. Um... But yeah, on Steam, there are people that were creating like new accounts just to continuously bug me when I was in line. I'm not sure if that was coming from the Rust community or what was going on there, but 
Um, yeah, so I just left myself continuously offline and they just don't bother anymore. So that seemed to seemed to work out a-okay, but that was just a nice little change. Well, not nice, but that was a little change I needed to make. And I think may maybe I shouldn't have adopted that change for Entropia Universe. It's one of those things, sometimes sometimes I'm in the middle of saying stuff, like talking things out, and I'm like, yeah, that doesn't really make sense. I probably, I probably shouldn't treat Entropia Universe like steam or rust because you know here it does cost a little bit of time a little bit of money to create an account uh actually it is completely free to create an account but i don't think there's all these i don't think people are interested in trolling in entropia universe because if you do get banned i believe they can do like ip bans and stuff like that so you could lose your main account which would be bad because it does go against the terms of service to have two accounts so keep that in mind so yeah um that's that's pretty much all I've got. I'm trying to think if there's anything else interesting that I've got to cover, and I, I'm not, I'm drawing a bit of a blank. Just uh, yeah, running through, running some through some more agro agronauts, argonauts, however you want to say it. I think it's argonaut. I think that's the right way to say it. I could be wrong though. Usually I am, so that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, let's let's finish this off. We know how much we started with, so I'm really, I am curious to see the returns. Especially because I think a lot of you guys watch just to see how the returns are. So we went out with 27 PDs, which isn't a huge amount. Obviously, if you get a global or something like that, that's really going to throw the numbers off by a lot. Um, but we, we didn't get anything like that. So this is going to be a pretty average return, I think, unless something crazy happens in the next like couple shots here. Let's go ahead and convert the ammo because I don't want to deal with getting continuously attacked. So yeah, we convert about 10 PDs of ammo right there. Um, geez, we keep getting attacked. They, they don't want me to leave. Um, yeah, we actually, th this isn't going to be that great of a return, honestly. We went out with 27 PDs. We're going to burn through some amplifier here. So that's probably not for the best. There's going to be some armor damage I take. This The, the returns on these things actually aren't going to be as good as I was hoping. And we're getting a little bit of lag here. I don't know what's been going on with the servers recently, but that's really been messing with me. All right, so let's let this thing kill us right here. There's no, there's no problem with dying in Entropia Universe. Take a little bit of armor damage, no big deal. And there we go. They managed to take me out. Just one extra hit, no big deal. So we're gonna head back, total everything up, and just sort of see where we stand. Like I said, we went out with 27 PEDs. So um, let's, let's see, see, see where we landed. I'm guessing that we did take a loss on this, though. If I'm being honest. So yeah, that's that's okay. Um, as far as iron goes, we're at about nine PDs of iron, and you can see here we've got only eight PDs left of universal ammo. So we've taken about a ten PED loss so far, assuming my numbers are right that we went out with twenty-seven PDs. We've taken about ten PD loss so far, and when we throw, oh no, because the amplifier wasn't fully, yeah, so we can't throw the amplifier in. We can throw the armor in there though. But yeah, oh, overall we probably took about maybe uh, fifteen. No, pro probably. 12 to 13 PED loss. So it's not too bad, but it's not too great either. Um, could be better, could be worse. Again, I'm trying to get this 500 kill sort of thing, so I'm just going to keep grinding these guys out until I can get that. Hopefully, I'm going to get some good loot to make up for the losses, but that's, that's uh, you know, that's how it goes. Anyways, guys, hopefully you like this video. If you have questions, comments, anything like that, as always, feel free to leave them down below. But um, yeah, I guess that's it for me. So until next time, peace.